this looks pretty casual. Why is he in the ball? How's that down the middle shot? Yeah, it certainly served him well yesterday, didn't it? In crucial times, he relaxed and he opened up. It's an outrageous winner. He's playing like the underdog, like he's got nothing to lose. And And Kruim was also reminiscent of last week in Detroit, Olivia Weaver beating Rowan El Arabi, who just taken out Gohar in the semifinal. And El Arabi just didn't really have much left, you know. So it ends up being sometimes it can be a little anticlimactic in the final because of the roots that uh, <laughs> both players have had to get there. Now this one. And Solomon has earned himself five game balls to take a lead. Very quick point. Some of these lunges, bit heavy. Couple grunts to go with it. Solomon definitely in a better position most of the time. I'd like to see Paharis start adding in those lifts like he did in the other rally. Uh, Matias and Miguel coming out with some more trick shots. Very entertaining. serving quite quickly. <laughs> that was perfect. I love that shot. Flying face. Summon running to the service box with his six game balls to take the two love lead. Uh, desperate volley. Baharis. Exciting event in Houston happening as well right now with the men's final happening in a couple hours. Shore Baggy falling in five against Mazen Hesham, who's had an incredible run taking out Mustafa oh. Sal. What a shot from Baharis. Very, very accurate work from the Egyptian. He's starting to pull away now. I'm in disbelief. Baharis with his first game ball of the match. Really incredible comeback in this third game. <laughs> Just sneaking up, not meant to go that there on the court. And another error. Tough to do. It's kind of like playing someone when they've got an injury, isn't it? I think, um, I'm like, okay, didn't recover as well as I could have, but I need to still compete and get myself up for it. But Solomon. With a solid lead again, I imagine he will not let it go this time around. And that did not help Baharis' chances, crushing it into the tin. Seven match balls for Solomon. He had three in the fourth game, in the third game.
terrific lob from Pajares. Loving the variety he's shown us in this match. He's been forced to change his usual strategy. There it goes. Oh, oh a no. Mistake. Four times oh, the time for Yusuf Solomon. Yeah. Only winning past Pajares. Very fantastic. interesting match in terms of energy. There it is, 56 minutes of play, and Yusuf Solomon is our squash on fire champion. 11-5, 11-4, 10-12, 11-3.